Okay, this is actually funny. All right, so our first question is, were you ever taught how to handle your emotions? Hell no. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you ain't lying to everybody. Oh my goodness, shut up. <laughs> I was, I was looking no. at you like, hell what you no. say? Okay, <laughs> so so let me let me break it down. So let's right. get to it. So first we're gonna do our two sides of the same coin segments. Remember we flip a coin, whoever answers the coin or wins the coin toss answers the question first. Right. All right, also why don't you call it? I'm gonna go ahead, sir. Alrighty. Which is what again? <laughs> that? Yes. Okay. It's not the 100. All right. Costa Rican currency, y'all. Yeah, it mixes us up, and by us, I mean me, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> right, you think I learned by now. <laughs> oh, well, it's on you. Tails. Oh, right. Oh, 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 no. no, I forgot what you called. I forgot what you okay, called. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> okay, this is actually funny. All right, so our first question is... Were you ever taught how to handle your emotions? Hell no. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you ain't lying to everybody. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking no. at you like, hell what you no. Say, okay. So so <laughs> let me let me break it down as to how much the hell no. Now mind you, a lot of this is stereotypical black culture. All right. Now remember, we are just now getting to a place where humanity is prior to our prioritizing health and wellness, including mental and emotional health. Right. So the centuries of trauma that we've experienced did not prepare us to teach our children how to effectively manage their emotions. Therefore, yeah. we were operating on survival tactics. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one of the lessons I did get <laughs> about my emotions mm -hmm. is my black mama saying, do you have a breathing problem? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We talked about this earlier when we were yes. playing the show. I got oh a story too. Like, oh my gosh. Go ahead. Yo, like, one, no, we was talking about it. Like, mm -hmm. I am trying to control yep. my breathing and regulate so I don't pop off. Oh, because that would be more disrespectful if I curse you out, mama. So please let me breathe. Let me stomp up to my room and let me slam my door. Okay? I'm, I'm getting treated right now. <laughs> Because as soon as you said it when we was playing, I, the show, know, I, went, oh, I, I was know. I like, know. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, and it's, it's concepts like that that's like, we were taught, like, actual ways that we could use to manage our emotions were, they were shamed and they were like, you better not. And it's like, again, I'm not trying to attack you <laughs> verbally or physically, shit. <laughs> but uh, the ways that the, all I got is to huff and puff. That's, that's all I can do as a child. <laughs> And you ain't even allowing me that. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, mama? What am I supposed to do? I'm allowed to be pissed at you. <laughs> that being said, we were not taught how to regulate our emotions. We were not taught how to healthily express our emotions. We were not taught how to manage our emotions, nor were we taught how to self-soothe our emotions. We weren't taught a lot, y'all. Shakes. <laughs> Um, I don't know. We may do a different episode where we talk about what those actual things look like. Regulation, expression, mm -hmm. management, self-soothing. So stay tuned and check out that episode. Yeah. Uh, but for now, let's uh, pop over to Oso. Were you ever taught how to handle your emotions? No, not in a healthy way. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like you said, we could go over those things in more detail on another episode where we break down maybe how to yes. effectively regulate your emotions and, you know, healthily express them. Mm -hmm. uh, but hell no, I wasn't taught none of that shit. Like, I don't think any of us really work. No. Like, no human beings. We don't have classes on this shit. <laughs> like, and who taught our parents to know how to teach us? So, like... No human beings, period. And then again, within Black American culture, we we just got disadvantages in all areas when it comes to growth, uh, in our health and our mental health because we've been through so much trauma. But our trauma has kind of been like just seen as yeah part of the narrative that we don't need to address just because it's part of the narrative. It's like, like that's yeah, the you're culture. resilient. 
that's all we just say. We just like y'all resilient. Y'all you'll get over it. You'll you'll go through like that doesn't mean that we're going and progressing in a good and healthy manner. Like yeah, okay, let's say I'm running the race and I, I'm going to get to the finish line. But if you are over here tripping me every two seconds, that doesn't mean that my race is going to go well. You know, let's try to avoid the traps. Let's try to run the race the best that we can. And I just don't think we've ever been equipped to do that. Like my my parents included, like they tried, but I don't think it was like a conscious thing. You have to be purposeful in- Intentional in parents. Yeah, intentional about trying to teach regulation of emotion and expressions that are healthy. That's it's not like, something you just do. You gotta have that within yourself as a parent to be able to model that. Right. <laughs> And that's, Who had that? That's, that's a whole other, you know. That's a whole other thing. Like, so for me, it's a no. And when you was talking about that whole breathing thing, that pissed me off because I, I don't even know who this lady is anymore. I just remember her face, and I don't like it. <laughs> uh, but this this woman who was in uh, my high school, some like administrative role or whatever, mm-hmm. and. I don't even know what the situation was. I just remember that I was breathing heavily because I was trying to calm myself down. And she was like, you over there huffing and puffing. I need something to huff and puff about. I wanted to knock her out. And I'm not even a violent person. Well, more so back then. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) But um, yeah, I wanted to be like, what the fuck? I can't breathe. If I don't breathe, that means I'm gonna get more, I'm gonna get angrier, right? The oxygen is not gonna go to my brain. Yeah. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna black the fuck out and then something's gonna happen. I'm not gonna know I'm blacked out, it's but gonna, it's gonna, it's it's gonna, gonna be result. Exactly, it's gonna result. <laughs> Me hit you, you hit the floor. <laughs> it's gonna result in some violence. I don't want that. So let me huff and puff then. You know what yeah, I mean? Let me breathe. Say that to me all the time. <laughs> it's, it's so like nonsensical to tell somebody who's in like a an emotional state, especially if their anger, if it, that emotion is anger or frustration, to the, not breathe. That's the very thing that they should be allowed to do in order to calm themselves down. The the crying too, I'm gonna give you something to cry about. Damn. Like, I'm already crying, usually because you beat me. <laughs> right, you beat me, I'm crying, but I can't cry about being beaten, because like, I'm gonna get more beatings. Like, that kind of shit. That don't make no logical sense. <laughs> Do you have anything else to add? <laughs> nah, that was it for that one. That's it. Like, good okay. God, y'all. Gosh. That's... No. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> All right. Next question. All right. I'm going to flip it. Oh, let me call it. Uh, I'm going to call Tails. Tails? It's... Okay. My turn. Let's one go. for one. All right. The next question is... Name a time when you were emotionally immature in your life. <sighs> when wasn't I? <laughs> this See, is I actually feel, very hard for me. I to feel like imagine. I'm still immature now. In your playful, childlike innocence, yes. 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 No. <laughs> exactly. Like, so, um, all right, so yeah, let me break it down in. And let me address that. So I'm goofy, I'm playful, I'm just like that type of person. Which I love. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that you love that. That's probably why we're together. <laughs> um, but that's just a natural part of my personality. Um, I can be serious, but majority of the time, my default is I'm playing around, I'm trying to be positive you know, for a default. I think I was an emotion, mostly immature in other ways outside of that. So yeah, I'm putting that to the side. Mm-hmm. Um, the time I can think of is during my dating phases and interacting with women. I feel like I was very emotionally immature during those times because I didn't know how to express myself. I was actually thinking about this on the way in. I think up until maybe up until just now recently, I think I self-sabotaged relationships with women that I know aren't right for me rather than being able to express that they are right for me just out the get-go. You know what I mean? So I'll give you an example. Like, let's say me and this girl are going out on a date. 
and hey it's the real family it's your girl rocky and your boy elsa and thanks for being here if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell right because subscribing and hitting that notification bell does two very important things one it gives you notification on our new content and make sure that you're up to date on everything that we put out every week every and, week you know every week every week uh and then number two it helps your boy and your girl out with some money, you know what I'm saying? Let's just keep an eye. <laughs> it's so real, baby. But in all seriousness, this is just like the video portion, the YouTube portion of our content. We are It's So Real Podcast. So we have all these episodes just waiting for y'all on how many platforms? 11 different streaming platforms. 11. So it's up to you to choose. Yeah, there's no excuses. We on everything. So whatever platform you're most comfortable listening to stuff your content on we're right there for you so look us up it's so real podcast and our link tree is available on our youtube channel go over there find the platform that works best for you subscribe to our podcast and hear the full thing because we have a lot more to say than what shows up on our youtube channel exactly um with that being said check out the rest of our videos while you're here you know <laughs> and be sure to subscribe all right y'all we'll catch you on the next one peace and love always